what's up y'all yeah so a couple people asked me in the comments how do i actually use my balloon stuffer so here we go so i'm just right here just talking about the materials that we used in the last video the adapter making sure we use epoxy hot glue whatever we need to make sure there is no leaks we got the pvc pipe we just taped that on our gold check valve so make sure you go look at that last video like the last video y'all and share it okay but yeah so making sure we put the lid on real tight we have our vacuum, and that's what we're going to put on the gold check valve to um, add the air. So we have our 18-inch clear stuffing balloons. I think that's Quay Lix. I don't know. I'm not making this video again, but there you go. Just screenshot it, and you'll get those balloons. Um, so... I'm just stretching it out so I can get the most out of my balloons. And right here, I fucked up because, y'all, my nails, I didn't have nails doing this um, for Easter. So, you about to see. I didn't even take it out. I ripped, like, seven balloons. Now, I took out all of them other ones. But I just wanted y'all to see. Having long nails can be a hit or miss. And on this project, it was definitely a miss. I kept ripping the neck of the balloon itself, and it was a no-go. So I ended up having to put on some gloves, and I knew that that was going to work for me. Um, and I was able to get the balloon on the adapter. So now I'm about to use my vacuum, okay, on my gold chick valve. And you see that it expands the balloon itself in the bucket. Don't ask me how, okay? The gold chick valve. So right here, I'm just going to show y'all how I actually stuffed the balloon. And I was like, let me take them gloves off, okay? So I just had a couple of eggs laying around, so that's what I'm going to use. But you can um, put a lot of things in here, but just stay away from the sharp objects, okay? Because just be mindful, it's still a balloon. And you really can't see because the bucket is orange. Now, you can get a clear bucket, um... So you can see what you're actually putting in there and, you know, so you can rearrange the things. But, hey, I just got my orange bucket and it, did, it does the trick for me. So now when you're trying to take it out, I just put two fingers in the hole. Uh-oh. Ha! <laughs> well, y'all seen what I did, okay? So I just trapped the air inside the balloon while I'm getting um, the lid off the bucket and so yeah there you have it eee! so if it's not the size that you want it to be um and i'm about to do this on purpose make it a little bit smaller you definitely all you need to get is you a balloon pump you should already have a balloon pump in your stash so grab your balloon pump and just blow it up to the preferred size that you want it to be that's it that's all Okay, so I know people commented and said, well, my lid, my, the top of my adapter is not drying or it keep moving or whatever the case may be. You have to let it sit, y'all, and you have to level it up, too. You can't just have it just sitting on your table. You have to level it up so that adapter can sit in the middle, okay, if that makes sense. Um but yeah, I just released some air, shaped my balloon, and I'm about to tie it up. And there we go. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like, subscribe, uh, share my videos on here on YouTube, because this is where all the long videos are going to go directly to YouTube. So yeah, there we go. And there we have it. Make sure y'all check out my uh, website for all of my classes. I have classes listed, Atlanta, Houston, Chicago, and we, we wrapping it back up in Nashville. Okay. Yeah. Then we also have virtual classes. So check your girl out on that. So remember that check valve got to be upright so that you can trap the air inside the bucket so it can expand the balloon. Okay, so all you will need, the materials for the bucket is in that last video. Get you an 18-inch pack of stuffing balloons, a balloon pump, and a vacuum, and you're good to go. And so right here, I'm just showing y'all how I did it during Easter. And when I tell y'all, I did over 30 um, balloon stuffings. And for $45, making this over two years ago, the balloon stuffer itself, and I'm still able to use it. You can't go wrong with it. So, yeah, y'all go to y'all nearest Home Depot, tell them I sent you, and make you one.